here we have the arm and we want to add the FK controllers. We're eventually going to add an IK FK switch. So the first thing that I want to do is to duplicate this twice. The original I'm just going to add to a display layer and name this skeleton original. Spell it right. There we go. I'm going to hide this. And then the second, I'm going to rename underscore IK. I'm going to add this to skeleton IK. I'm also going to hide this. And then we're just left with one here, which I'm just going to rename the first three joints. So if you do the same, and then I'm just going to select the shoulder and add to a third display layer, FK. First thing that we need to do is to create some controllers. To do that, I'm going to go to Create NURBS Primitive Circle, and there I have a circle. I'm going to snap it to the joint by holding down V and then I'm going to hold down my middle mouse button and wiggle it over the joint and this is going to snap to the center. Okay. I'm also going to scale this up because I want it to be higher and then I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. Okay, so that's now in position. And then finally, I'm going to go to Modify Freeze Transformations. I'm going to name it. So this is Left Shoulder oops, FK and then CTRL for Control. Okay. I can then duplicate this, hold down V again middle mouse and it's going to snap to my elbow and then I can just adjust the name. It's really important that you name everything as we go otherwise it will get very very confusing. And then duplicate again so that's control D, snap to the wrist, rename, going to freeze the transformations on those two. So these are our three controllers, we've named them all nicely and they've all in position. Now you will notice on let's have a look, this one that the orientation of this is out compared to the joint so we want to um, fix that next. To fix this is I'm going to select the shoulder control and I'm going to group it okay and then I'm going to grab this paste it into there and offset group that's what I'm going to name it and I'll explain in a second why I'm doing that then what I'm going to do is go to modify center pivot of the group so if we select the shoulder joint and then I'm going to control select the offset group in the outliner and then I'm going to use constrain parent uncheck maintain offset and click apply and if you watch my controller orientated itself in line with the joint but if I select the controller we still have the frozen transformations and that's because the offset that happened when it moved was created on the offset group. And then I can actually delete that parent constraint. And then I can repeat the process. So for this elbow FK, I'm going to control G to group, modify, center the pivot, I'm going to name it. Okay. 
I'm going to select the joint and I'm going to select the group, not the control, the group, constraint, parent, make sure maintain offset is unchecked, apply. Just go in and check. This is still all zeroed out, but it's orientated itself. So for the third and final time, grab the wrist, control G, modify, center pivot, name it, <coughs> select the wrist, bone, control select the group, constrain, parent, it's orientated itself, and if I click on the wrist, it zeroed itself out. So we now have all of the controllers orientated correctly with the bones. So the next step is, oh, I just forgot, you, need, you can actually go ahead and delete those parent constraints now. We're only using them to parent the group to the bone so that it orientates itself and then we don't need them. Okay, so now what we want is when we move the shoulder control, we want the elbow control to follow. So I'm going to grab the elbow offset group. I'm going to middle mouse drag onto my shoulder. So then that's gone inside it in the hierarchy. If I select this now, we now can move the elbow. And then so we want to do the same. We want to grab the wrist group and middle mouse drag and place that inside the elbow FK control and so I can grab this one rotate and it moves everything grab the elbow rotate and it moves the wrist so all our controllers are now set up the next step is to actually link the controllers to the joints. To do this, we're going to use parent constraint again, but we're not going to delete it this time. So we can select the shoulder control and then select the bone and then go to constraint parent and I'm going to check maintain offset. Apply. So now if I grab the controller, we can see that the bone goes with it and obviously the rest of the arm goes with it because that's linked to the joint but if we could move this one we still don't have an effect because we haven't added our pairing yet so we're going to select the controller select the elbow joint constraint parent let's just check that that's working yep working great and then final one select the wrist controller the wrist joint constraint parent and now that one do the wrist this one and do both so that is our um, FK rig setup and because we don't have any values on these when it's in its original position we can just grab these and hit zero same for this and that is back into our original position the only other thing that you might want to do is to select the controllers and change the color so in the attribute editor if you go to the control shape tab and object display drawing overrides enable the overrides and then you can choose um, a color and just so we know that that's the FK controls of that side. There we go. And then lastly, if we turn this off, we haven't actually added the controllers, so we can add those to our display layer, and that is our FK finished.